Good morning, Knockoff fans. Are you ready for some more Knockoff fun? Well, I hope you are because you clicked on the video. Uh, so basically, this next one comes from my inbox, or rather, behind my inbox, because I meant to review it a long time ago, but due to circumstances and other more interesting things, I just put it off and put it off until, hey, we are here today. So uh, yeah, basically, it was very dusty, and uh, yeah, I totally forgot about it. And without further ado, let's just move on. Uh, this is the Creo Cityville Invasion Blind Bag Pack. Um, uh, let me just zoom in on it here a little bit. Basically, uh, Creo, uh, they've, they're, they're doing some interesting things. Uh, but uh, this this is really surprising to me. I'm not really sure, let's see, on the back when they were uh, 2013. So, okay, so not so recently, but at least uh, this is one of their very first forays into sort of plasticky toys. Um, at least in this format. I, I can only imagine they, they tried to do some something similar, but you know, Lego has been doing blind bags for a while, so why not cash in on their their success, you know? So anyway, looking at this thing, we can see it's collection one, as if, you know, they'll make more collections. Uh, there are eight Creon figures to collect. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, eight Creon's figures, two packs to collect. What, each sold separate, what? Okay, what, what does this actually include? Two Creon figures, okay, and a motion brick. Oh, so I get two. Oh, okay, I can, well, hopefully they're they're of different sides. I would hate to have uh, uh, just two guys without it, two uh, soldiers without anyone to fight, you know, that'd be really kind of lame. Okay, looking on the back here, we can see more nonsense in gibberish here. Uh, what figures can we get? We can get Sheriff Fastraw, Zombie Outlaw, Walter, Walter Wetsuit, Wave Crawler, Zombie Soldier, Sergeant Drill. I want Sergeant Drill. He sounds cool. Robot Roboticus. I am Roboticus. Beep boop. <laughs> Agent Stealth. I wonder what he specializes in. Mike the Medic, or I guess. Um, zombie Medic? Do zombies need medics? Does he just have a broken piece of glass? Is he, does he open up wounds? I don't know. Uh, Captain Firebreak and Red Blaze. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. These are like the counters to each other's. Okay. Toxic Zombie, and then there's Hazmat Henry. Willy Werewolf. Wait, he's not a zombie. Whoa. Okay. Uh, and Steve Timber. I like that chainsaw. That's cool. I want Steve Timber. Steve Timber, or Sergeant Drill. All right. So uh, let's, well, let's just see what we get. Okay. Obviously, I will have to put something together here. So let's let's see. Whoa, man, that is like titanium plastic. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, scissors, rescue. Okay, there's a zombie head. Whoa. Okay, I have a feeling we're gonna have to jump cut, but it looks like I got um, somebody really afraid and a awesome looking zombie. All right, jump cut and coming. Oh, what a prize we have won today. We have Walter Wetsuit and, oh, Lord, what is his name? The Wave Crawler, okay. Uh, both very minimalistic figures. Uh, let me just take the Wave Crawler off here to kind of demonstrate. Basically, just a pair of legs, just inside, inserted into a hollow body, very minimalistically uh, turning arms. Just uh, only a face a mother can love. Um, meanwhile, God, he is just so so frightened. Just take off the helmet. Okay, so I'll leave it on. Okay, there we go. He's far more frightened than I assumed he would be, but I guess he's swimming against the wave runner. So uh, I guess he's uh, he's about to be fish food. Um, so put that helmet back on and swim for your life, pal. Uh, what can I say about what can I say about Cityville Invasion? It's just too I don't know. They're trying a bit too hard. They're trying to make their own figures and uh, try to get people to buy them, but I mean, look at me—I just bought them and, jeez, uh, um, yeah, very, very cheap, very cheap looking little things, and not to mention, not to mention the fact that they come with a whole little city to to build. Um, Cityville Invasion actually includes a little city to build, or at least the 
equivalent? Uh, it's hard for me to tell, but it seems that there's the construction site smash, the police station zombie defense, um, something on going on down there. Um, there's there's a fire station. There's the marina madness, um, service station scare. So a uh, haunted hideaway. That's really the only interesting one out of all of them. Like you need to have a place for the zombies and the things to hide out in. But I don't understand why there has to be civic engineers and uh, you know firemen and all those people fighting them because you know it seems like this and uh, I don't know. Isn't there, aren't there monster hunters around to take care of this sort of thing? You know, I want somebody working my water pipes and, you know, take care of my house in case it burns down or, you know, uh, so very interesting concept. Um, I, I, I can only wait for, uh, for the second one <laughs> for the series collection two. Hey, wow. You won't even fit on their own, uh, their own studs. Uh, but at least I got this really cool brick out of it. And what was that? The motion brick? What did that even do? Oh, great, it's a brush. Okay, anyway, uh, if you'd like to see more of these sort of things uh, where I open up blind bags or just review random toys, uh, please leave a like and subscribe and, uh, you know, make, make sure uh, you validate my life choices here because I've been sitting in front of a camera all day. Oh, boy, looking at these type of things. Wow. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.